today I'm making a great recipe utilizing one of my favorite methods for cooking kale, roasting kale. It's a combination today of roasted kale and cabbage with salmon. Everything cooks together in the oven on this one sheet. It's super fast, easy, and healthy. I'm starting off by removing the kale leaves from the stems. The stems are not edible, they're a little bit tough. And I'm just going to shred the kale into pieces. I need about four cups of shredded kale and four cups of shredded cabbage. I'm using Savoy cabbage. You could use all of one or all of the other. It doesn't need to be too, too fine, but I like it, you know, relatively fine because this doesn't cook very long. You're gonna need a total of eight cups of shredded greens. That might seem like a lot, but you'll see that they shrink quite a bit in the oven. About half a head of Savoy cabbage. I just used the larger half because my kale was a little bit small, so I don't really have four cups of kale, and I'm gonna make up for it with cabbage. This dish was inspired by a dish that I ate in France the first time I ever went to France, which was uh, braised white cabbage with haddock on top. So good and sweet, and I feel like you don't get fish and cabbage that much in the United States, but it's really delicious. Add that to the tray and then you're gonna to toss it with two tablespoons of olive oil, give or take. The two tablespoons is for the people who want a slightly lower fat. I'm going a little more crazy, probably three. Salt and pepper. Toss it around. This is gonna get drizzled with a vinaigrette later, so you don't wanna overdo it with the oil but I like enough oil that it gets a little bit crispy, especially the kale. Alrighty, put this in a 450 degree oven for about six minutes while you get your vinaigrette ready. I'm gonna make a lemon vinaigrette, a dill and lemon vinaigrette. You'll need a teaspoon of lemon zest and then about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Run your zester over your lemon and then the lemon zest will catch in the top. All right, that seems like about enough. About two tablespoons of lemon juice. As always, I'm just gonna start with one and then move on. Because despite the fact that these are really tiny, they're super juicy. You just never know. A couple tablespoons of chopped dill. I love the flavor of dill and salmon. Actually, dill and cabbage is really good together too, so it's kind of a match made in heaven. Fresh dill also has a really high waftability factor. I mean, I guess all fresh herbs really do, but basil, dill, cilantro, high on the list. Two tablespoons. Always wanna add a little bit of Dijon mustard, say a teaspoon. You can add more if you like more, that's fine with me. I don't like it to be too overwhelming. A little bit of salt. Whisk in four tablespoons of olive oil. Mmm. Gonna be yummy. You guys are gonna love me even more than you already do. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not really possible. <laughs> I think that it's time to add my salmon to my tray. I have four pieces of salmon here. Put the salmon into your tray. You can just nestle it down into the cabbage and kale mixture sort of on top, and then it needs to go back into the oven for about 10 more minutes. And you'll be amazed at how sort of crispy, tender your kale and your cabbage gets. Ooh, I guess I should season my salmon, right? Yes, Sarah, you should. All right, and then back into your 450 oven for about 10 minutes for about an inch, inch and a quarter thick salmon. This is really beautiful. Drizzle it with the vinaigrette. It's so fresh and delicious, but hearty enough for fall, but not too heavy. I'm pretty into it. I feel like I don't need all of this vinaigrette, so I'm gonna use about three quarters of it. All of it might be a little too much, but it's delicious and it's really beautiful, and your family might just become addicted to it, just like I am. It's salmon with cabbage and kale in the oven on a cheap pan. Check out our new issue for a couple more sheet pan dinners. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.